well as Catherine Baby Pants, also known as Chris Ballou, member of the legendary Seattle band, the Presidents of the United States of America. Chris started producing children's music a few years ago, and he actually has a new album out called I Found You, and Chris Ballou joins me now. Hi. Hi. So I think everyone's pretty familiar that you made the switch into children's music, mm -hmm. but this is album number six, yes. so you're doing okay. Let's, yep. let's talk about this album and, and what's different and what we can expect. Well, here's the big thing. Everybody always says, what's different about this album? Nothing is different <laughs> about this album. From album number one, song number one, I found my voice, I found my palette, I found my kind of musical home, really. It's interesting. The President's has been an amazing experience. But there's always been this voice in the back of my head like, this isn't it. You need to keep digging a little bit. And I kept digging and I found this, you know, music that's not that far from the presidents. It's, it's um, the same kind of core of writing about animals and food and silly things. But I've just removed all the loud uh, instruments and the irony and I've just got this nice little innocent core. So there's nothing different about this record in that I set off on this journey to make kids music kind of fully formed mm -hmm. and I like the planet I'm living on and I have no plans to, to leave it. So. Well I'm glad you brought that up because um, I nanny two children and Peaches is one of their favorite songs and there is sort of a common chord there. So when we say you're making children's music I don't think that's really entirely accurate. Yeah I toy around with uh, the idea of branding myself as a parents musician. The world's first parents musician <laughs> you know. And the kids happen to like it too right because I really keep the parents in mind when I'm you know, everything from writing the songs, arranging them, recording them, uh, mixing them. The whole time I'm thinking about the whole family. You know, I'm thinking about a family in a car, stuck in traffic, they're hungry, they're tired, they're mad at each other. You should be able to put in a CD and have it sort of transform the atmosphere. And, and uh, I get a lot of feedback from actual families stuck in actual cars that it works. When you don't sleep and you don't eat properly and you're, uh, you're dem uh, there's demands on your time 24 hours a day yeah. from this little thing, you can lose your, uh, <laughs> you can lose your cool. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, and so, um, I mean, it happens to everybody, even the most empathetic, well-meaning, well-educated human when pushed to a certain point can yeah. kind of lose their cool. So I'm trying to be this sort of musical puzzle piece that goes into a whole... Uh, healthy regimen to keep parents happy yeah and um, and sharing with their kids not just tolerating their kids aesthetics your kids are getting older now um, and you were talking about how your music is really for the zero to six range that's what you keep in mind yeah what how have, how have your kids sort of inspired or influenced the way that you write songs or the content that you talk about in your songs uh, they've helped in, they've inspired me in a lot of ways. I mean, when my son was first born, before I even got into this at all, I used to put him on a blanket on the floor, get a guitar, and just look at him and play without any plan, and just played the love. And I, I've made up all these just simple little love songs mm -hmm. for him, just fragments. And many of those now I go back and listen, and they're turning into full songs. So that happened. Uh, same thing happened with my daughter. I mean, I was the one that got up with the kids every morning uh, when they were little. I got up at 4.35 a.m. And so I had a lot of time with them alone and um, just some really excellent, uh, you know, private little moments watching the sun come up, singing songs. And so that generated a whole wave of ideas. I'm always fascinated since you do perform for children and adults. Wh how, what kind of differences do you notice? How do kids listen to a performance and how do adults listen to a performance or are there any differences? I think with adults there's less freedom to be uh, random. You know that there's a, a kind of a prescribed way to watch a show in a rock club. There's a few moves you can <laughs> you know you can stand still, you can bounce, you can hold your drink, you can go yeah, you can wave your arms in the air like you just don't care, that kind of stuff. You know, there's maybe half a dozen moves. Kids have dozens of moves. I mean, weird, go down on the ground, put your butt in the air, <laughs> kick your feet. Um, That's mine. They, yeah, they stole that from roll me. Roll around, interrupt me during the middle of a song and tell me about the, you know, uh, the, the plot to The Little Mermaid or something, <laughs> which has happened. Um, so there's this incredible randomness, which I really appreciate. Like today I did a show this morning and there was a preschool and they just started running in a circle like this and they ran the entire show. The whole crowd was running in a circle. That never happens at a grown-up show. Yeah. And I actually got a little dizzy. I was thinking of telling them to go the other way. <laughs> like, Mix Whoa. it up. Go back. <laughs> so they do strange coordinated things as a group. They do strange things as individuals. There's just 
they're uh, uh, just delightfully random. So. Well, I feel like then maybe that's a good segue uh, since you performed just recently. You're going to come to perform a few songs for us today. Yeah. And we have a little surprise for you. We've got some kids joining us from the Young Child Academy Ooh. for a little concert. So if that sounds okay to you, yeah. let's do it. Let's go listen to some Casper Baby Pants. All right. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go bubble, bubble, bubble. Ah! You got it. Here we go. Check it out. All the fish are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. All the fish are swimming in the water. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Yeah! All the ducks paddle in the water, paddle in the water, paddle in the water. All the ducks paddle in the water. Bubble, bubble, bubble. All the frogs are jumping in the water, jumping in the water, jumping in the water. All the frogs are jumping in the water. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Ah! Yeah! Let's see what the pigs are doing. All the pigs are muddy in the water, muddy in the water, muddy in the water. All the pigs are muddy in the water. All the kids are splashing in the water, splashing in the water, splashing in the water. All the kids are splashing in the water. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Yeah. All right, it's time for a trumpet solo. got to get real quiet now, real low. You know why we got to get quiet? Because the hippos are napping in the water. And you don't want to wake up a napping hippo. It's dangerous. They'll come charging at you with their giant mouths and their giant teeth and their giant legs and their giant booties. You don't want that. You don't want hippo booty coming at you. Nope. But here's the problem. One of these hippos is late for his job at the zoo as a hippo. So we have to wake him up, which means that the next pop has to be the loudest pop in the history of pops, OK? Here we go. All those hippos are napping in the water, napping in the water, napping in the water. All those hippos are napping in the water. Bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> All the fish are swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. All the fish are swimming in the water. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Ah! Good job. Give yourselves a round of applesauce. <laughs> applesauce. Come on, you want applesauce. OK, now we're going to do the yes and no song. This song's called Yes and No. And every time I say yes, it is, you guys say no, it's not. OK, let's try it out. Here we go. <sighs> The escalator works to take us all from here to there. But when it breaks, it still can work. It just becomes some stairs. Yes, it does. No, it does. Yes, it does. No, it, does. it is both yes and no. I love my little house. It keeps me warm throughout the winter. But when I put some wheels on it, it can become a camper. Yes, it can. Yes, it can. No, it can. It is both yes and no. A seed is such a tiny thing and small, just like an ant. But tuck it in some rich black dirt, and it also is a plant. Yes, it is. No, it yes, it is. No, it, it is both yes and no. Water is so liquidy, it flows around my shoe. But in the winter time, that water can be solid too. Yes, it can. No, no, it yes, it can. No, it is both yes and no. A sock can cover up your feet, and all ten toes do love it. But put that sock upon your hand, and it can become a puppet. Yes, it can. No, it yes, it can. No, it is both yes and no. A frog can live in water, and it also lives on land. A frog is like a fish, but it is also like a man. Yes, it is. No, it is. 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 Yes, it
course it is. Yeah. It is both yes and no. I like to roast a marshmallow. It is so good to eat. But if you gather millions, you can make a bed to sleep. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. It is both yes and no. No. Both yes and no. 